Alrighty, today I'm going to show you guys how to change uh, register number and the time zones on a Topaz 310 or a Topaz 410. It's the same process on both of them. So what you're going to need is a Topaz, of course, a laptop computer, a patch cable, no modem, and a USB to serial cable. So what you want to do, connect your patch cable, which is that blue one right there, to the console port on the towpath, over to uh, your no modem, which is this red one right here, over to your uh, USB to serial cable, which is this black one right here, over to your computer on any of the USB ports that you have. So what you want to do, first of all, you want to change the IP address on the computer itself. To do that, you press on that arrow down there. This will pop up. Right click on the circle, on the little globe figure. This will pop up, open network and internet settings. Select it. This will pop up right here. Select Ethernet. Select change adapter, uh, change adapter options. This will pop up. Right click on Ethernet. Select properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4. There it is. Select properties again. And that's what it should look like. For the IP address is 192.168.31200. For the mask is 255.255.255.0. And for the gateway is 192.168.3131. Select OK. You can close this out. After that, you want to bring up Putty. I have it down here. You can double click on that or you can search for it. Punch in Putty on the search bar. Select Putty, double click on it. And this will pop up right here. So what you want to do once you uh, click on Putty, you select Serial. And you need to find out what COM port you're on. This one it says one, but I'm not quite sure if we're hooked up to one or not. So what you want to do, click on your search bar and uh, type in device. That'll display your device manager right there. Double click on that. This will pop up, go down to uh, ports, click on the little arrow, and it will tell you exactly what COM port you're using. For us, it's COM port 3. So we know it's COM port 3, you can exit out of it. Delete 1, punch in 3. For the speed, is going to be... 19200 and that's what it looks like right there press open click open this will pop up it's not going to prompt you to enter a username or a password but that's what you do you punch in your username which i'm not going to display And then your password, press enter. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to change existing configuration? You punch in Y for yes. 
press enter. It's gonna ask you your register number, one through 32. For this one, it's gonna be one. Press enter. It's gonna ask you for your time zone. I think this towpath is going to Texas, so it's gonna be central, central time. And it says right there, central number four. Punch in four, enter. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna change the subnet mask. On this one, it looks correct, so we're gonna leave it as is. So we're gonna punch in M, enter. And those are your system configurations. Do you want to change this configuration? No. System is configured successfully. Reboot to continue installation using Veriful Petro Suite installer. No, it's already installed. And it'll take you back to the login. Right there. And that's exactly how you do it. All right, if you like this video, I'll probably make some more. So hit subscribe. Haven't done a video, uh, video in forever. So this one's pretty shaky. I'm at the shop. I don't have a tripod. But like I said, share and subscribe. Thank you.